Hey everybody, welcome back to the Financial Freedom Show. My name is Rob Berger. In this episode, I'm gonna answer a viewer's uh, question, and it has to do with the best places to save cash. For whatever reason, it could be an emergency fund, you're saving to buy a home, or as you'll see in a moment from uh, the viewer's question, you're trying to time the market. Yikes! In any event, what can you do with your cash? I'm gonna give you seven very specific uh, options to consider. And then I'm going to end the video actually with something I'm calling tool time because I'm not really that creative. But the idea behind it is I do a ton of research. I come across apps, calculators, other YouTube channels, podcasts, articles, books that I think are interesting and could help you make the most of your money. So at the end of the video, I'm just going to take a minute or two, share something I've found with you uh, that I think might be of interest to you uh, when it comes to your money. So that's what we're going to do at the end of the video. So with that, let's get to the question. And here it is, came in from Mavis. You can see I've highlighted here. And uh, it just says, love your videos. Could you make a video about the best places to stash cash as a placeholder for those who may be hesitant to invest at the moment, for those of us that are admittedly timing the market? And uh, so a great question. You know I can't condone market timing, but in all fairness, I'm not good at it. I've learned that over 30 years of investing. And I only have to go back a year to prove it because in March of last year, I thought we were doomed and we were going to end the year way, way down. And it shows you what I know when it comes to timing the market. But in any event, there are a lot of good reasons to have cash, including, of course, fundamentally an emergency fund or saving for a home or countless other reasons. So where should you park it? Now, as you know, we're in a historically low uh, interest rate environment. Let me just show you an article I pulled up from Consumer Reports. This was from just two years ago, right? Less than two years ago, June 2019. And uh, if we pull up some of the interest rates, you can see them up here. Sally May, 2%, 2.6%. Here's 2.52%. Um, First Internet Bank, 2.75%. Unfortunately, uh, those days are behind us. They're probably ahead of us, too. I, I'm going to make a prediction that eventually we'll get back to those rates. But right now, most big banks are paying like one basis point, 0.01%. So enough chit-chat. Let's get to the seven options that I've got for you today. And we're going to begin with one of my favorites, and it's Chime. You may have heard of Chime before. Chime, you could think of Chime as what I would call a cash, cash management app uh, or a cash management account. Um, and the idea is it, it's effectively a bank account, except that Chime is not a bank. And so there are a number of technology companies who have, who have built incredibly uh, easy to use mobile apps. And as you can see, they come with a debit card. And, uh, and But they partner with an FDIC member bank. So Chime isn't a bank, but it partners with an FDIC member bank. And so when you deposit money with Chime, it goes through Chime into that bank, and it's FDIC insured. And uh, they have both a spend account and a savings account. Uh, obviously, as you can see, it comes with a debit card. So this could actually be your, your everyday checking account. And it's currently paying on the savings account 50 bips, 50 basis points. So that's one half of 1%. Remember, 100 bips or basis points uh, equals 1%. Uh, so it's 0.5%. Uh, and uh, overall, it's had very good reviews. And uh, folks seem to like the app both uh, on, on the iPhone as well as Android. So that's our first option. Now, some of you may be saying, no, I just really want a straight up savings account. What do you got for me? Well, here I've got Axos Bank. And uh, so this uh, actually was founded in 2000 as Bank of Internet. Uh, and they rebranded as Axo Bank. It's a FDIC member bank. In fact, they've got over $14 billion uh, in assets. So this is a very large bank. Um, and as you can see, as of today, they're paying 0.61% uh, on their savings account. Like most online banks, the, the fees are effectively none as a practical matter. And um, it's one of the highest yielding savings accounts that I've been able to find uh, today. So 0.61%, that's number two on our list. Number three is actually with Axos Bank as well. And this is the rewards checking account. Axos, <laughs> they have five different checking accounts for teenagers, for seniors. They have a cash back checking account. They have this one, which they call rewards checking. They have just an essentials checking account. In any event, you can earn up to 1.25% uh, on this checking account. You can see down here, I'm showing you the specifics. And by the way, I'll have links to all of this below the video, so don't have don't worry about that. But you can see here, uh, the starting point is you have to have direct deposits of at least a thousand bucks a month. You do that, you're already at, at over 41 bips 
41 basis points uh, APY. If you then use their debit card at least 10 times in the month, uh, each transaction has to be at least three bucks, you get another 41 uh, basis points, a little, little more. And then if you use it another five times for a total of 15 or more transactions a month, you get the final 41 basis points. It all adds up to 1.25%. So actually, you got to do some work to get this rate, but uh, obviously an extremely uh, high rate given our current uh, environment. So I think another good option, Access Bank Rewards Checking. All right. Our next one is on Juno, and yes, I know it's got a sort of an odd name, but this again would be like Chime in the sense that it's a cash management account. It's not a, uh, a bank, they partner with a bank, but as you can see, they, they even tell you here, FDIC, banking services, let's see if, I can, see if I can highlight this for you, banking services provided by Evolve Bank and Trust member FDIC. So your funds are, are insured up to the FDIC uh, limit, and obviously it comes with, as you can see, an app, and you'll notice sort of the high level mark here or, or, or high level uh, uh, rate earn 2.15% on deposits and 5% cash back. Now, whenever you see something like that, you ought, you ought to know there's going to be some asterisks, right? There's going to be something because no one pays 2.15% on an unlimited amount of money and nobody pays 5% cash back uh, on all transactions. And that's particularly true with debit cards. And so there are some uh, qualifications. The first is, um, the 2.15% is limited to either the first five, $5,000 you have saved, uh, no more than five, or if you go with their, their plus account, it can go up to $30,000 saved. Now, the $30,000 saved, to get that, there's, there's a monthly fee. The six, first six months are free, but after that, it's uh, 10 bucks a month. I think it's $9.99. I did the math on that. If you have your full 30000 in there, even after the monthly fee, you're still earning about 1.75%, and they call it a bonus rate. And uh, so still, I think, a pretty good deal. The 5% is limited to, I think, five retailers of, of your choosing within their list. So it's not on every uh, debit transaction, and, and nor would you expect that. No one pays that kind of rate on everything. Um, so, although I should say the Prime Visa, as I think about it, pays 5% back on all Amazon purchases. That's not bad. In any event, I think on Juno is a good option to consider. Again, it, it's something you'd want to use as part of your sort of spend or checking account uh, as well. But you can see you can earn up to 2.15%. Again, keeping in mind those limitations. All right. Uh, the next one on our list is Varo, V-A-R-O. Again, another cash management account, not a bank, but partners with a bank. And here you can earn up to uh, 3%. To do that, you can see here, you've got to make right here five qualifying uh, purchases each period with your debit card. And you have to have a direct deposit of $1,000 or more. And uh, your balance can't exceed 5,000. So this is obviously limited. For some of you, if you've got you know more than that, you're saving for a home, these sort of options may not be ideal. On the other hand, could be a good way to sort of save your emergency fund. So I wanted to uh, mention this one as well. Uh, you know, obviously it's not um, a, a large balance that you can keep, but the interest rate is so much more. I mean, if you compare this to, uh, say, a traditional bank that's paying just a couple of basis points, you'd have to put 100 grand in the bank at, at a couple of basis points, maybe more, uh, depending on the exact rate, to earn the same rate you'd earn with just $5,000 in this account. So I think it's worth uh, considering, and uh, that's why I included it in the list. All right, next one. This is for you small business owners out there and freelancers that, that you know, you have a business. Bluevine is very similar in, in, in a way to Chime and on Juno and Varo, except it's for small businesses. And the thing I like about it uh, is that it pays, look at this, 1% on balance is up to 100 grand. And there's, you know, qualifications. We can come down here and no interest earned on balance is over 100,000. So uh, if for you business owners that you keep a couple of million dollars in cash lying around, you're not gonna earn 1% on all of it. Um, but uh, you know, for, for, the, for the rest of us, uh, you can earn 1% on, on up to 100 grand. Again, this is for small businesses though, uh, not for individuals, but I know a lot of you own businesses, um, so I wanted to mention it. And then the last one I'll mention is uh, kind of an interesting one. It's called uh, Fitness Bank. And they tell you the interest rate you can earn to how many steps you walk each day, which sounds kind of weird to me. Uh, I don't quite get it, but that's what they're doing. And as you can see right now, they're paying up to 65 bips, 50, 65 basis points, APY. And we can scoot down here 
and it shows you what you have to do to earn it. So you have to average 12,500 steps a day to earn this, and if you, you know, and you can go on down. If you hit at least 10,000, you get 55 basis points. Even if you have zero, you still get 25 basis points, which compared to big banks is um, still a good rate. And um, if you're a senior citizen, at least 65 years of age or better, as I like to say, um, and for those new to the channel, no, I'm not yet 65, but thanks for asking. Anyway, uh, they cut you a break. Well, you can't read it there. Let me pull that away. Here we go. You get the 65 basis points at 10,000 plus steps. And you know, you'll want to dive into the details. You do have to download their app. Uh, it works with Fitbit and you know Apple and uh, all the different fitness uh, types of devices. Uh, but they will, you know, they track your steps. I wondered if I could like strap my watch to my dog's leg and have have her run around the backyard. That I don't know. That was a bad idea. Probably wouldn't work. In any event, I don't know. You can get healthy, uh, stay fit, and and earn a little extra. So. Uh, those are my seven uh, options for saving your cash and earning a little bit more than the rock bottom rates that most banks are paying today. If you have others, leave them in the comments below. would love to hear and learn about other places to stash cash. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video down the road. Now, tool time. I promised I would show you uh, an interesting tool or app, and this one is related to our topic today. And it's called uh, Worthy Bonds, worthybonds.com. And this actually pays 5% interest. You can uh, invest in bonds uh, in $10 increments. Now, this is not FDIC insured. Really important point. These are bonds, effectively loans made to small businesses. Uh, they are backed, for, for the most part, secured by the businesses either inventory or accounts receivable. I was in the auditing uh, industry as a securities lawyer for a long time, and so I know that inventory can go can become obsolete and accounts receivable can become uh, uncollected. So, you know, you have to appreciate that there is uh, risk in this investment, but it is secured, uh, and that's important. And uh, they say that they, I don't think they've ever had to, to, to default, if you will, on the 5% interest. Um, and so, again, not as secure, obviously, as an FDIC-insured uh, bank account. But I thought, you know, I'll share it with you. I've not personally invested in Worthy Bonds, uh, but I've heard good things about it. And if you've invested in it before and have any experience to share, leave it in the, uh, leave your, your comments below. That would be great. But that's the, the tool tip of the day, if you will, worthybonds.com. Listen, if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments uh, below. I'll be happy to help you out any way I can. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, the best thing money can buy is financial freedom.